Welcome to this uh, teaching uh, today at uh, bibleteachings.com uh, My name is uh, Tore. It's a Norwegian name, Tore Johannesen. It's a Norwegian uh, name and uh, some people they don't they don't know how to uh, pronounce it uh, if you are uh, if you speak English. Uh, but uh, my name is Tore. <laughs> uh, and, and I actually I'm living actually in northern Thailand and I'm married to a woman from Myanmar and uh, both of us we are, we are working here in northern Thailand and, and also towards uh, Myanmar and uh, to a, uh, towards a, a people group actually called Shan, the, the Shan people uh, but something that is really on our heart is to share the good news share the good news with the Shan people and not, not only the Shan people but people all around the world we want to share the good news and, uh, and and the good news we want to share is actually, uh, you know, some 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 people they uh, they don't see the the gospel as the good news. Some some people they maybe not pre not are not preaching the good news. And sometimes we need to know what is the good news. And and I believe the good news, if you really see the good news, it will set you free in every area in your life. Even, even when it comes to physical healing or, or a broken heart and, and things like that. And actually, I, I have a testimony. Myself, I myself have a testimony. Uh, I had a broken heart and I was sick even. I was sick for over, over 10 years. I was sick. I couldn't eat uh, sugar. I couldn't eat any chocolate or, or milk or, or anything. I was allergic uh, to, to, yeah, to all kind of, kind of food. Uh, and I was very thin. I was I was um, about maybe forty kilo less than I, than I am now. So so I was I was quite sick, <laughs> and it actually came because of a broken heart. And when God started to work with me, and started started to heal my broken heart, I I became. Uh, I became better in my mind. I was I had more a sound way of thinking, and I also uh, I also experienced to get free from this sickness that I was that was uh, that I had for t over ten years. This all allergic reaction that I had had, uh, and all the pain I had. I had a dizziness. I had a headache. Uh, I couldn't breathe properly. And now all this, Ill, all this uh, yeah, illness, the, all these problems, physical problem, problems that I had. And it all came by because of a broken heart. Uh, I kind of saw that uh, f uh, after many years, I started to see that. And I started to see also something about the love of God. And when I started to see something about the love of God, it really set me free. But maybe the one, that, one thing that really set me, f set me free was this truth about who I am. There's so many people, so many people in this world, going around in, in this world and having this question, having this question, who am I? Who am I truly? And there's, there's a lot of people who have this question. And, and maybe that, that's, that's the most important question to, to ask. Who am I? Who truly am I? And, you know, I, 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 <clears throat> for many years, you know, I, I studied the Bible. I'm a Bible teacher. I'm not a psychologist or something like that. But I am a Bible teacher. I'm teaching the Bible. I've been teaching the Bible for mo almost, almost 30 years. Um, and at, uh, at one time I had, had done it for, for, for over, over 20 years, for some years ago I had done it for over 20 years but I couldn't give a good answer to this question Who am I? Who am I? Truly, who am I? I couldn't really give a good answer to that question even though the Bible actually gives you an answer to that question and and, and uh, I will give you, I will give you a teaching. I have a teaching in Norwegian. I will, and I will, I will uh, 
teach some of the, the things I've been teaching in Norwegian, I will, I will try to teach for you in English. And maybe my, my English is not, you know, I have a Norwegian accent and, and things like that, so, uh, so I hope you still understand what I'm saying to you. Uh, and I, I believe you do. Uh, uh, but but I'm kind of, kind of translating this when I'm, I'm I'm reading in Norwegian and I'm trying to translate it to English while I'm teaching to you, because I've written it down in in, in, in Norwegian. I have a teaching in Norwegian. Uh, I have a website in in Norwegian and I have a month uh, weekly teaching in Norwegian. I've done that for ten years actually, and I, I'm I'm starting to thinking of I want to do something in English too. I know there's a lot of people uh, that needs to hear this message. And so, so I, I want to do that. I'm, I know my my English is not is not perfect, and things like that. But but it doesn't matter. Matter. I know I have a message. I have a message for you, <coughs> and I believe that that this message message can set you free. Because it has set me free. I have seen the freedom. You know, the Bible tells us if the, if the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. And and but but there's a lot of people who is not free. If you go around and, and, and see and see different uh, you see different Christians, they are not free. They're trying to be free, but they are not. <laughs> They're bound in so many ways, in fears, in in sin, in everything. But that's not the life God has called us to. But it all comes back to this this question actually: Who am I? Who am I truly? Because if you know who you truly are. First of all, you will not struggle. You will not struggle with fear. You will not struggle with sin. You will not struggle with worry. If you see, truly see who God created you to be and how loved you are by God. And that's very important to know. And, and I also want to say to you, I'm not, you know, uh, so maybe some Christians are thinking you need to talk about Jesus and God, and 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 I, and I do, <laughs> I do that, because I know there is only one way to find out who you truly are, and that's by actually finding Jesus Christ, because Jesus he points to God. He's telling about telling us who God is. And he came to restore you back to who you truly are. He wanted you to find out who you are. That's one of the reasons Jesus came to this earth. Actually, it, it is the reason. Maybe you started to start wonder, but, but then isn't, isn't it about salvation and things like that? Yes, it is. It is about salvation. But it's also to find out who you truly are. It's actually about all of us. We were lost, lost sons and daughters. And God wanted us to find a way back to our hearts. Find a way back to our hearts. He wanted to have fellowship with us. Because we are his sons, his daughters. And you maybe have, you have two categories of, of sons and daughters. You have the one who hasn't found their way back to the, the father's home and they are not able to call themselves sons and daughters of God but then you are those who are have come back to find 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 the truth about who God is and find find their way back home and they are the Christians but still people who have found the way back home they still have a wrong way of thinking about themselves who they truly are they don't see themselves as true sons and daughters of God. And that's why you need to see. That's, that's why you need to, to know Jesus. Truly know him. Because you can, cannot find back to your, your creator if you don't know the creator. And Jesus point to, points to God. And Jesus is a, is a picture of who God is. And you need to get to know him. And when you get to know him, you will start to, to, to understand and discover who, who you truly are too. That's the way. That's the truth. That's the way back to your father, father's house. That's the way back to find out who you truly are. 
You are a son, you are a daughter of God. You truly are. You are not created by sin or the devil. The devil, the devil didn't create you. Jesus or God created you in his image. The devil didn't create you in, in, your, in his image. Sin didn't create you in his image. It was God who created you in his image. It's only God, in only true God. It's only true God in his image you are created. No other image. Yes, sin came in. Sin came without Adam. And sin tried to destroy the image of God. He tried to destroy human being. Sin tried to make a picture, a different picture than who you truly are. And the devil used sin to make people look more like him than God. I hope you see that this is actually quite simple. But many people have complicated this a lot. And I hope that uh, this, this introduction today uh, can, can help you. Can help you to see who you truly, truly are. And I really want to see that you find your way back to your father's house, to back to God, and, and that you're starting to study who you truly are. Maybe you are a Christian already, but you maybe don't truly know who you are. Mm. Because religion has programmed you in many ways, the flesh has programmed you in many ways. And you know, the flesh is not you, it's not your identity. There is something called flesh, the flesh. But it's not you. It's not your true identity. Your true identity is not the flesh or something bad. Or, or the flesh is doesn't actually in in the Bible you find the word flesh sarks. It doesn't only mean bad bad things. It it just sometimes it just means the body or something physical, something physical we can see and touch and things like that. So 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 uh, so the flesh is not always bad, but it's also also bad in a sense that. Uh, the flesh is actually something. Uh, if you, uh, it's it's kind of everything you can see and touch, and if you believe that everything that ex exists is is the things that thing that you can see and touch, and and you kind of exclude God, that's a fleshy way of thinking. Actually, the the way of thinking that God, if you are worried, or if you have any kind of fears and stuff like that, you are thinking in a fleshly way. You think like God is not there in that situation, that God not exists in a way in, in that situation, that, that maybe that your situation is too, too hard for him or something like that. And that's a fleshy way of thinking. <laughs> it's a way of thinking. But it's not your identity. It kind of formed you. Sin and, and, and the power of sin kind of formed your identity in many ways. But you are not. That's not your identity. Your identity is that you are created in the image of God and that you are son and daughter. You are a son or a daughter of God. That's your identity. And don't, don't let, let anything else tell you something else. Because that's the truth about you. So that, that's what I had to, um, to share today. And I have more and more I want to share with you. Uh, and follow follow me on bibleteachings.com or or on Facebook also. Uh, so uh, so I, I will uh, yeah I will continue to talk about uh, the, these things. And I really want you to see the truth about who you are. God bless you.